guys! So, today in Art of Hair, I am going to use the statue of Molly Malone as an inspiration. Um, I have seen this statue in person in Dublin. Um, I circled it and I looked at the hairstyle and I forgot what it looked like. So I had to look up some pictures and it is really hard to find pictures of the back of Molly Malone's head. I am going to start by making a middle parting. Just like that. Now, first thing we are going to do is actually make a high ponytail right about there on the back of our head. So, she has um, these twists at the front of her hair. So, let's just begin by making those. So, I'm just going to take this hair and twist it. Add some hair and twist it. And by doing this, I'm kind of making these rolls. And you want to make it pretty loose so that it kind of loops down like that. Clip it down up there, just for now, while we do the other side. Okay. So now I'm going to take out this clip, hold the hair, and gather the rest of my hair up, and then tie all of it together in a hair elastic. Okay, so now that we have the two twists and a high ponytail, we are going to grab a sock donut. Um, you can use one of those hair donuts that they sell in drug stores, or you can just take an old sock, cut the tip off and roll it into a little donut. Um, I have a few videos on sock bun where you can see how I make this. So I am just going to slip it through to the top of my hair and I am going to make a classic sock bun. So um, not the way I usually do it when, with rolling it down, but actually going to cover the sock with my hair like that. So going around. Then I'm going to take another hair elastic and just slip it around the bun. Okay, so now there's a few things you can do. Um, Molly Malone actually has very tight ringlets in this hair. Um, so you can go ahead and curl your hair into tight ringlets. Uh, now, as you guys may know, I don't curl my hair. Um, so I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do, however, is something that looks like hair that is curled in tight ringlets. I am going to make some rope braids out of this. So um, I'm going to do about three, I think. So divide this hair into three sections, like that, and make each of these into a rope braid. Now if you don't know how a rope braid works, you take two sections of hair and you twist them both in one direction. So I'm going that way, twisting, and then you twist them around each other in the opposite direction. And then when you tie this off, you can let it go and it's not going to move. Okay, so I'm going to do this to the rest of the two sections and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I am actually going to take the ends of all of these. My hair is a little bit too thin, or actually way too thin to do this properly. Um, it would look way better on a bit thicker hair. So, just a little disclaimer here. I am going to grab the end and actually pin it underneath this bun that we have up there. That's actually going to give the hairstyle a bit more volume, which I can definitely use. 
Okay, so now we have that. And there's one more thing we need to do. As you can see, the bun is kind of sticking out from my head. Uh, I'm just going to pin that down so that it lays flat. So that's going to look nicer. So I just stick in some bobby pins. And here is your finished Molly Malone inspired hairstyle. So of course it's going to look more authentic with the ringlets, so um, if you're comfortable with doing that, please go ahead. Um, anyways, I think this is pretty nice as well, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please feel free to leave any questions in the comments below or send me a message. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!